Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, in today's video, I want to talk to you about something really important and I want to address that because a lot of people want to do a live show, but they are very shy in front of the camera and um, for whatever reason. So please don't think like that. Um, just be yourself. This is the best advice I can give you. As long as you know how to describe the piece that you are auctioning, uh, please be confident and don't think people are coming and and uh, um, a live auction to judge you. They are coming into your chat room uh, to see what you are auctioning and of course buy it. This is what live shows are about. People are amazing and supportive and of course like everywhere you will find some people that are a bit rude but you have the option to block them if you want to get on with your show and um, just ignore it. There are more kind people than uh, rude people so don't be afraid of that. My name is Alina and I am a Poshmark part-time reseller and a reselling content creator and again I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. I will break this video into parts. I will do a question and answers about the Posh live shows. Um, I see uh, live shows are very popular but there is not much content about it um, out there on YouTube and also there are still in beta testing which means there are um, fixing things, um, tweaking and they just want to make sure everything runs smoothly for the sellers and for the buyers. And in the second part I will talk about the tools I use to uh, manage my shows a little bit better and I will link everything in the description box down below so you can see what I'm talking about and you can decide for yourself if uh, you want to use those tools or you want to uh, search for cheaper or more expensive version up to you. So let's start with the questions and answers. I have a cheat sheet here. Um, I hope you forgive me. I cannot remember um, all the questions. So I'm starting with, um, I don't have an icon for the live shows. The live shows are still in the beta testing mode and you will have to apply. You can contact Poshmark and ask them for a link to apply if they still have a space for you to apply. Um, usually only Posh ambassadors too are allowed to um, be part of the beta testing shows. The live show feature you will find in your closet under the wrench icon on the upper right side. It is the third row. It says live, my live shows, my Posh shows. They will send you a link if you contact Poshmark, if there are any spaces available. So I applied for the beta testing mode and Poshmark sent me an appointment with a link to a Zoom call. And uh, at that time, it took about 40 minutes for the training, after which you have to take a little survey. After the survey, you will have to immediately schedule your live show. For the live show, Poshmark will send you another link to your email. After you have scheduled the live show, 48 hours prior to that appointment, you can actually start preparing and setting up what items you want to run for your action. The next question is, I applied for the live show and I received an email saying that I'm scheduled for such date for a Poshmark beta training. They gave a date. Um, and so does that mean that I will start on that date and going live? Or will I be uh, talking to someone online on how to prepare myself for the show? Please help me, tell me the process. It will help me a lot. No, that does not mean you are starting that day. They will just train you and tell you how the live shows are going um, in case you don't know. It is really easy and it's more informative. Uh, scheduling a show is now going to be immediate. Uh, it took me about a week. I could not find an earlier appointment. But don't forget, you will be able 48 hours before the scheduled show to prepare and set your next show. That being said, once you have your show prepared, you can start right away. The next question is, um, any tips for me? Like what price should I start the bids? 
Um, I have just a simple closet and I'm very excited. Um, well, even if you have a simple closet, that doesn't mean um, you won't sell. Um, just start at whatever you feel comfortable. Um, people start prices at $3, but let me tell you something. If somebody is paying $3 and nobody is bidding against that price, you will let that item go for nine cents basically because after Poshmark fees, this is what um, your profit will be. My auction prices usually start at four or five dollars. This is my cost of goods price and I don't want to uh, lose any money on the item. The next question is how do they bundle with canceling orders and bundling? Um, I have seen people doing that and I know Poshmark is working on a system ASAP, but I'm technically challenged. So um, I want to know um, how to do it. So yes, Poshmark is working on the bundling feature and that would be amazing if Poshmark will fix that. And I'm sure they will soon, but uh, still I want to explain to you how that goes. So the way I bundle is um, I announce when the auction starts that I do bundles and people buy multiple items, which at the end of the auction and when, when I finish with my live show, I will um, put the bundle together for that person, uh, create a listing with the total of the purchase and um, take pictures of um, whatever it was in the bundle. I will send that to the buyer. The buyer will buy that bundle. After that, I will cancel the individual orders that went into that bundle. So that's how it goes. Um, it is a little bit of trust and communication with a uh, buyer seller. Um, but until the Poshmark is fixing the bundle feature, uh, we're gonna go around it the best way we know how. So like I said, do not be shy to um, start your live shows because this is how you learn by doing. This is how I learned. I, I wasn't born with the knowledge. Um, <laughs> it is trial and error. So um, the best thing you do, just start. So what do I do after the show? After the show, the first thing I do is to work on the bundles because that's when the buyer is online and that's when you can communicate easily and fast. And uh, after I finish with the bundle um, clients, then I will work on the individual offers, pack everything and ship and uh, go to the post office. And after that, when I come back, I deal with the mess because I am messy. I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, you have to put everything in the inventory the way it was so you can find things easily. Also, you go to your closet and whatever it was not for sale that you had in the auction, make it available for sale again, just in case someone wants to purchase. You will have people that were in your show that will send offers in your closet because um, they browsed before and they saw something they wanted or um, just keep the momentum going and i cannot stress this enough just put everything back in your inventory because it's really easy to um, get carried away and one simple mistake will send you looking for an item for a whole day it happened to me <laughs> and it's not funny the second part of this show um, let's talk about the tools i use personally to uh, manage my shows easily and um, run them smoothly and as long as i have everything at hand um, i'm happy so i will link everything down below for you to um, to take a look at and decide for yourself what you think it would help you the most these are basic things that i actually think are very useful so here we go the most important thing is the ring light um, you will have to have a light of some sort if you don't have a very well lit room then you have to have a tripod i usually use my iphone because it's the best picture quality poshmark has suggested um, that we use the phone camera because um, the ipad or the computer or laptop 
they give you a grainy image for now so the best thing is to use your phone and for my phone i am using a tripod so it's easier for me to um, manage and then um, a good internet connection if you want to uh, check your your speed at speedtest.net the next thing you will need and that is really really useful is a clothing rack I do use a clothing rack that folds easily and I store it under the bed. It is small and not very sturdy, but it does the job. I don't usually auction more than uh, 35 items. I find uh, 50 items is a little bit too overwhelming. So um, that does the job. The next thing you will need is hangers. I'm sure everybody has hangers in their home, but if you want something that's inexpensive, uh, looks cute, and it's not slippery, then check out these on the bottom. The life tags are the next must have. The life tags are a number from one to 100, and um, for now, Poshmark allows you to auction maximum of 50, yes, 50 pieces. There are plenty of life tags out there. Um, on Amazon especially, but I like the the ones that I link below because um, they are plastic tags and they're very sturdy. Like I said, I run between 35 and 40 pieces. I feel more comfortable with that. It's not overwhelming, like I said, and the show won't take longer than an hour, an hour and a half. If you need ideas or pointers on where to source for your next show, please let me know in the comments down below. Then you need pen and paper, just in case. You need a measuring tape, just in case, again, somebody is asking for measurements. And that's really useful because that can make a difference between somebody purchasing that item or not. A coffee, a cup of tea or some water is really helpful to help you stay hydrated because you will speak a lot. And then you will need a small and quiet space somewhere in the house or in the garage, wherever you feel more comfortable. Don't worry about the children or husband or wife uh, getting in the picture. Uh, it's not a big deal. I've seen it all. As long as you let your personality shine and engage with people, you will be fine and you will sell, I promise. My shows are usually um, one and a half to two hours long, but realistically preparing for it um, takes at least two hours, if not for me half a day. You have to prepare the clothing that you are auctioning. You have to put them on the hangers. You have to number them. You have to make them not for sale in your closet uh, for the duration of the show. So make sure you understand that and you don't stress out about the starting time. If you have more questions, uh, please don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you are still struggling to put together a live show, please let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I post new content about reselling. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye!